Happy Friday, Print Fam. I'm a little grumpy this morning because I stayed up way too late and my kids were fighting and that's what woke me up this morning. We got some files prepped in the fiery, so they are gonna come out. We'll do the test cuts. After everything looks good, we'll get them going. I kind of freaked out for a minute because I didn't know what that meant, but it just says it's establishing a connection. Basically the printer's turning on and I already told it to print. So we're gonna finish up a couple projects this morning, some banners for Bob tomorrow, hopefully get these printed, get some more yard signs printed. Bob will be over later to help. Oh, it's not here anymore. He presses in the other room doing some shirts. So let's have a great one. My name's Darren, welcome to the print shop. All right, my optimizer says there's only one milliliter left and I just started a job that's like six or seven feet long. Looks like we're gonna be hot swapping. It's very unhappy. Very, very unhappy. Hopefully I don't run out. I do have one though, so we're gonna swap for it. Let's see if it makes one. All right, we're done with the first half of the print. It still says one milliliter. I'm gonna see if it comes up and tells me to change it. I don't know if it will, or if it's just gonna come up and randomly say, hey, job failed, we canceled it. So we're doing the experiment for you, so you don't have to. I hope I don't lose the print, because it's not the end of the world if I do. It, it's, worth, it's worth the experience. All right, according to the printer, I still have one. According to the app, I have zero. Cam, if you want a place to hear. I don't know. I'm just gonna replace it. It's at one milliliter. It's served me well. Should we weigh it? Let's weigh it. That's the empty one. So this is a full one. 2.26 ounces. It's not what I wanted to do. Versus office and to make some deliveries one question that I see frequently in the comments or I guess not really some sometimes it's a question sometimes it's a statement is why do I do so many deliveries um, there's two fold to that my biggest wholesale customer that is the agreement that I have with them is that I will deliver it um, I get paid for every order I get paid a delivery fee so in this case, I have three orders from them. So I'm getting three delivery fees to deliver it. I could mail it. That is what the fee is for, um, is to be able to cover postage. But in this case, it's covering my time. Eventually it'll probably be an employee, hopefully. Um, the second reason why I do deliveries 
is a lot of my customers are businesses and they they are working and they like that level of service and I can tend to get more orders from them when I pick it up. Occasionally they will pick it up if it's a rush or it's something that's like, I'm sorry, I just don't have time to deliver it. And like I had a customer yesterday, he's like, hey, I need, it was 60 business cards. And I was like, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't have time to deliver them. I, I can print them, but I can't deliver them. And he said, oh, if I can come pick them up, then that would be awesome. I just need them. They're these temporary gift cards. He came and picked them up. So uh, the other fold to that is technically per my um, home occupancy business license. I can only have up to four visitors per month, I think is the stipulation. And so that's another reason. But oh well, on with the day, making deliveries, then got to get back home. Bob's going to be there at two. So we got one hour to get back. We're gonna be working on some shirts. Look who's here. Say hi, Bob. What's up, guys? No dad jokes today. This happened last time. Did anyone check on his kid? So Bob's working on shirts. He's got lots of shirts in his Mountain Dew here. Yes. We're Not doing... affiliated, but if my own dude would like to sponsor a video, reach out to Darren. We're doing transfers from FM Expression, I think. That's what they're called, right? Something like that. FM something. F, F, FM expressions.com. Oh, what do you what do you think, Bob? You like it? They are way better than the white toner to do them. As far as time. As far as time. Well what that's not my question. My question is what is your impression of the transfer itself? It looks really good. It's a plastisol heat transfer. So they screen print on these paper sheets and then you apply it. Similar to top transfer, I did a video on them a while back. They're not too bad. Seven seconds, 325 degrees Celsius. I may just put my quesadilla while I'm at it out here. I think it's 162 Celsius. 325 Fahrenheit. I might have messed that number up. Anyway, I think they're okay. Yeah. We're ordering more for some other jobs. And the price was definitely right on them. Especially for the one color ones, you can't beat the price on them. Yeah, the one color transfers are super affordable. Uh, way affordable. You just, you just have to have one of these things. Yes. No, not not, not one of these. Not one of these. One of these to press it and that so he I'm, doesn't have to. I'm just I'm just leaning back on my chair. Good times. I have some shirts to work on after Bob. Minor white toner. I also have to order some transfers like Bob did. And we got some stuff to print on the Konica still. So, see you a bit. It has been a long one again a bunch of shirts done this one is messed up when I'm taking off the parchment paper this stuff it's pulling up the transfer but it seems to only be if the parchment paper has been pressed 50 or so times so I've made some more because I didn't make enough apparently so I got some more made we are gonna to try to fix that one and then finish these last six. And then we've got 20 hats to do, but we might save the hats for tomorrow. It is only 11 p.m., but since I've been working late every night, I'd kinda of like to get some sleep. Um, yeah. um, other than that, um, tomorrow's published blog is a Saturday vlog. But any new Saturday vlog is going to be posted only to the Patreon channel. Um, so if you'd like to see extra videos or the Saturday vlogs, things like that, you can join Patreon feed to get those. Uh, and thank you, Tim, for ordering some Two O'Clock Club stickers. Got those ready to go to the post office tomorrow. So let's get some more shirts done. 
double check back in. I should also say condolences to Bob. His stepsister passed away in a tragic accident and I let him borrow my tripod and my GoPro so they could film the services since it will be limited in number. So I'm really sorry, Bob, for what you're going through. It's always tough. And that's why there's no time lapse right now because I don't have my time lapse camera. Working on the hats. Got about 17 left to go. This little cheap heat press is not bad. Um, someone recommended that I maybe adjust this. It still hits the brim, but not as much. So, one thing to be aware if you buy a cheap heat press, the nicer ones actually have a bow so that they miss the brim. But for what I paid, what I use it for, it's great. Eventually I will upgrade to a new one, probably one from Stalls, just because I like my Stalls Hotronics or Fusion IQ, whatever they're called. I like that, so. But I'm just working along. Sorry that there's no time lapse, but it's kind of boring anyway. I am sitting in a chair because my back hurts on this dinky little table because my back hurts. You do what you can with what you got. The hats are all done. One tip that I will give you with the white toner and the issue that I had tonight, which I said was related to how old the craft paper is. And yes, I will still say that that's part of it. But if you start, so you do the initial press, the 30 seconds, and then you let it cool down, you peel off the transfer sheet, and then you do the second press. If you're pulling off the paper, do it slow and if it starts to go with it or it's not coming up easy let it cool down I ruined one hat basically I just put a new transfer right over the top of it and I was pressing them some more and another one had the same issue but I stopped got a new piece of Teflon kept on pressing let it cool down and then peeled it off and it came off great. Love the white toner, but like many things in this business, it takes some learning, some getting used to, and some finesse sometimes. It is not a machine or a, a process that is a push of a button and you're done. Um, I think it's like just like the HP, just like the embroidery, just like the Konica. At times, yep, it's push button and you go through the motions and everything works great. And other times, there's just these little gotchas that happen. But I am very happy that I have the white toner printer and that I purchased it. My only regret is that I didn't purchase it sooner for my business. I do a lot of apparel. These hats, there's 20 hats. I sold them for $20 each. This was not to a customer, this was to individuals. $20 each. All 20 hats fit on one transfer. One 11 by 17 fit all of them. Yes, took me a few hours to do the work. Granted, I was going slow, taking it easy, not rushing. But 
for eight dollars plus another sixty dollars in blank hats pretty good profit but I digress I'm gonna call it a night thank you for watching if you have any questions about what I do why I do it how I do it etc leave those questions down in the comments thank you to those who excuse me it's late thank you for those who have emailed me asked questions it's nice to know that there are people that need help and feel that I can help them and I think in some cases I have so thank you for that um, you're welcome to continue to email me and ask questions just know that my responses may not always be timely because I do need to work um, but I do what I can so thank you for that I think Cam thanks for editing the video I think I already thanked you if not thank you really appreciate you I want to make sure I thank you all the time. Cam stopped by today, picked up some banners that I printed for him. So, if you guys want to support the channel, you can do so with the links in the description. There's Patreon, Amazon affiliate links, other affiliate links, just liking the video, subscribing, visiting my website, all that fun stuff. You can also buy custom stickers, custom orders, business cards, stuff directly from me if you would like. But I do just appreciate you being here. As always, we'll see you in the next vlog tomorrow, Saturday. So we'll see you Monday. Bye, Prefam. Huge shout out to our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash TTMS.